Hey everyone, so you may have seen the news and everyone seems to be on the same page, everyone seems to be dancing on the grave. And is it true? Is Internet Explorer 11 finally dead? Yes and no. Yes in the sense that there's a date set for its death. Will it die on that day? I predict not, but I'll get to that in a moment. Its official sunsetting from the Microsoft suite of applications starts on November the 30th. So on November the 30th, Microsoft Teams will no longer work in Internet Explorer 11, nor will the 365 apps. Eventually, after November the 30th, the sun setting will begin on the browser, and by August 2021, it'll be gone. What that means is there'll be no incentive to carry on security wise for all the companies that still use it they shouldn't be after that point and based off my work with agencies and the way we approach ie11 support is if microsoft isn't supporting it we're not going to support it now that's what we say but the reality is if a client comes back and says well i'm still making x amounts of thousands or millions from internet explorer 11 users come August 2021, you're going to be very hard pressed to say, no, we're no longer supporting you, then the client will just go elsewhere for support. But what's going to happen, I predict, there's going to be a huge fall off in the runoff to uh, August of next year. And it'll probably be another year after that before it really dies down and it becomes officially dead. So I think two years from now, IE 11 will be officially dead. But what does that mean for front-end developers? Well, it means suddenly you've got all these front-end apps and frameworks and libraries that suddenly don't have to support IE 11. So bundle sizes become a lot smaller. A lot of those frameworks become less verbose in the background. So they're a lot lighter, they're a lot quicker. Uh, it also means that uh, in CSS terms, huge amount of stuff opens up. So right now, uh, Internet Explorer 11 uses the first iteration of uh, CSS Grid. With this, it means we can use CSS Grid everywhere and the unofficial layout styling of the web will really take off and Grid will really take over. Uh, right now, you're seeing Flex being used everywhere and people who are probably not too concerned about IE 11 are using it, but for the rest of us who have to build enterprise level applications and components uh, and UIs have to be aware of IE 11, we can't use Grid. So there's gonna be a huge move to Grid uh, after 2021 or in the run up to 2021. There will also be a lot of new methods in JavaScript that will suddenly open up, the latest versions of the ECMA standard of JavaScript. I would also say that it is unfortunate timing, um, the death of IE 11, for things like WSL2, which is Windows and Linux, uh, which is Linux on Windows. Uh, because what that means is a lot of the drive for people to set up on a Windows computer was to have the best front end setup available because you had that IE11 support. Now with that stripped away, you will no longer really need to be worrying about being on Windows, you would probably just straight up be on Linux. So there is a lot of that. I guess one of the, the biggest things is uh, <laughs> no more IE 11 debugging, which was an absolute pain. Whenever you would open up that web inspector, everything would come crashing down to earth. Everything would slow down. It was one of the huge pain points of debugging IE 11. But as we go forward, who takes that mantle now? When IE 11 gets fully sunsetted, everyone drops in, we're in this Candyland world where everything's perfect and everyone's on Chromium and there's uh, Google's basically taken over the internet. What happens? Well, we've lost, pretty much lost Firefox this year. Uh, that won't be a competitor <laughs> in two years time. Um, they basically gutted their team and laid off a third of their or a quarter of their staff, I forget how much. You've got IE11 going, so the amount of real browsers out there is now pretty much down to just Safari. And it's, uh, yeah, it's not perfect. It still hasn't even got all the HTML5 inputs implemented. It always claims that it's got all these, uh, all these features supported, but it technically has them, but it hasn't implemented them. In terms of the new Internet Explorer, unfortunately it's going to turn to Safari unless they can 
turn themselves around in two years or they just switch to Chromium like everybody else. So this has been a plan for a while. Uh, Microsoft have been trying to kill off Internet Explorer 11 for a while and this is it. Edge was the first iteration. Support for the old versions of Edge where their old original code base, the non-Chromium Edge, will also lose its support. So you'll have a fully Chromium Edge or Edgium um, by August 2021 with no IE11 and no old Edge and the internet will be a very very different place. In terms of the browser wars, Chrome and Chromium and Google really won. Um, that is the future, there is going to be basically just one browser and uh, in a way it means for a front-end developer that's good, it means that uh, we know things are going to work but at the same time IE11 had a 95% monopoly and the problem with that was that they didn't innovate, they didn't move forward as much. It doesn't seem like that's the problem with Chrome right now, but stagnation can happen to all things. Now, if like me, uh, you're rejoicing in the death of IE11. Now, if like me, you're looking forward to the full sunset of IE11, there is a website with a countdown timer to uh, tide you over until then. It is death2ie11.com. Go check it out. And here's to our new web overlords, Google, Safari. Try not to drop the soap or Chromium will come and get you. And that's it for me. August 2021 can't come around sooner. So if you found that useful, uh, please like and subscribe. And I've been Harry, and this has been Curious Bible.